guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. I am on Drag Race Philippines. Oh my gosh, if you guys didn't know, it's been airing and they asked me to be the official sponsor for the show. So one size beauty, like you guys know how you see Anastasia in the States. Well, one size is it for the Philippines. And it's really cool because I'm Filipino, if you guys didn't know. And my dad is from Manila and my mom is from Bacolod, so Ilongo and Ilonga. But uh, we're here, we've been here quarantining by we, I mean me and Peter. So me and Peter are here quarantining at the Ascot here in BGC in Manila. We've been here literally for 10 days because <laughs> we had to quarantine for 10 days. Also, my friend Tony Labrusca came over and did my makeup. That was like after we got the negative results and we were able to go out. I've been in contact with Jiggly Caliente who's also a judge, shout out to her. And I'm excited, I'm really nervous to be on RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm overwhelmingly honored and I feel like Miss Philippines and Miss Universe right now for the gays and the girls and the theys. And it's such a, a high prestige honor for my brand and for me to be on the show. I, I'm really so proud of how progressive social media has and RuPaul's Drag Race has impacted millions of people and I hope we can just spark and make a difference in people's lives for people out there that may not, still not accept people. So hopefully the show shines light to the Filipino people, the world, the universe rather. <laughs> And I hope that um, you guys will see it. But this is what my setup is looking like right now. Right here, this is like all my makeup. You know what's so funny? This whole time, for months, I have been using this. This is Cheek Clapper. This is made for shade. I've been using this. These are prototype. This is my makeup. But this will be out by the time you guys see this vlog, so I'm so excited. This is our beautiful hotel. There's my room. There's Peter's room. And to be honest, I don't even know if I'm allowed to vlog or even gonna post this, but I wanna promote the show. If you guys wanna see it, check it out on WOW, the app. But I'm gonna do my makeup as most sickening as I can. I think that's my Filipino breakfast. And I will see you guys really soon. Guys, so my breakfast is a Filipino breakfast. And I got Topsy Log, which is like marinated beef. It's so crazy because in the Philippines, like breakfast is like a meal meal. It's not like a light sugary thing. It's like a hearty meal with eggs and meat. Look at this right here. How gorgeous is this? There's garlic fried rice, two eggs, the tapa. And of course, there's more Filipino sweets over there. There's the pandesal. They gave us cupcakes. They give us so many things. We've been ordering a lot um, to the hotel. I got sweet tea from Bonchan. So exciting, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I'm gonna do my makeup. And the car is gonna pick us up at 10.30. I miss vlogs, I miss you guys. Yeah, I've been busy, but I'm glad to be back. Mwah. Okay guys, so I could only manage to do my eye makeup because I was in like such deep concentration. I'm so nervous that we're doing this. So I'm excited, I'm nervous. I'm really, again, like I'm so honored to represent the Philippines and the people. It's really amazing. I, I don't even know anything. I don't know the host. I've never been, um, on set or anything, so this is really exciting. I haven't been on set for the US, but I think it's such a high honor. I just wanna represent the brand proud, the country proud, and also America proud too. So um, this is exciting and hopefully all goes well. I literally called my producer Fabian to make sure I have everything because he literally packed like six suitcases. I even brought my nebulizer. So if you hear me coughing a little bit or out of breath, like my asthma is really, 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 really bad. But Peter and I quarantined for literally like a week. And so we're finally out. And this is like the furthest we've traveled so far. Um, so cool. And hopefully Peter knows how to get me in my outfit and do the turban and everything because it's normally Fabian. Fabian, wish you were here. But i um, so honored to be here for this show. Um, we're going to try to get as much as we can in filming, but you know, all of, we just have to make sure we're not showing too much and breaking the magic. So yeah, that's that. And I hope you guys enjoy. We have about an hour ride to get to the studio. Guys, we are here. We're setting up. I don't want to be late. Being late and having people wait on me, especially like a production, is like the worst feeling ever. 
I just don't like people waiting on me. So I didn't get enough time to like do my makeup. So hopefully. Star, I am so excited that Drag Race is finally in the Philippines! I'm introducing, I think, a mini challenge. I'm gonna be on camera saying I wish I could be there and then it's gonna glitch and then um, I'm gonna come out of the main entrance, which is so cool. I'm just really, again, just over the moon in honor that I get to be a part of such um, Emmy Award winning show like Drag Race and to represent for the Philippines with my brand. So I've been saying that all day, but I'm, it's really honor, honorable to be here. Okay, so Peter was like, um, do you want to shave your chest? And I was like, can you they see it? And I'm like, fuck. If Fabian was here, he would be like, yes, shave your titties. I don't cut me. I love this top. I saw it on Pinterest and I had it made and I wanted to do the Maria Clara sleeves. And that's what we did. Um, also too, my necklace freaking broke on transit um, by Alea's closet. It's just so fragile that it snapped. So the stylist and his team is sewing it back together just so we can cover this little seam right there. How flawless is my face featuring all one size, pretty much all one size, aside from a couple things. And also on this trip too, by the way, I got to test one of our final samples of BBB, which you guys have already seen by now. So that's really cool. All the love so far with the brand is like really awesome. And I hope like my vlogs like inspire you guys to really, really do what you love. Be surrounded by the people that support you and that love you and that champion you. Because at the end of the day, like there's haters out there. There's haters, there's jealous people, there's people that don't don't that don't want you to win, and those are called blessing blockers, and we don't need those kinds of people in our life. So yeah. This camera's fucking heavy. This is why I don't film in HD and I film on my fucking iPhone all the time. Invisalign check. You know, it's so funny. Um so these scallops are gonna hold the products and there's six products left and by my episode according to the thing there's six queens left so one product per girl so cool it caught my eye yesterday when we were walking down the street and all it didn't happen so our sugar daddy Tony the Brusca took us to Manila house and we also went to the peninsula for Halo Halo because the Halo Halo at Manila house is not good so we had to go to a separate entire place to get it it's so gorgeous I wish we should have walked yesterday I know we were just in the moment but it's to be in the moment shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> um, but now we're here on day two of now we're here on day two Peter's making fun of me because I wear my fashion to figure holiday set. <laughs> my pastor is complaining how hot it was. <laughs> but I'm trying to serve looks, you know? <laughs> oh, and I had every intention of doing a blue smoky eye. Didn't do it. I went to my go-to and I did a blue smoky liner from my palette. And now we are in traffic and I have less time to get ready and get into this latex uh, stretch 
number with just my face and fingers showing. So hopefully I'm not dying. Hopefully it's a great day. I'm excited to see Jiggly, the OG Filipina queen from Drag Race. Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I want to take a ride on your disco stick. You think they'll flag me if I do that? We should test it one day if we sing or uh. something. <laughs> Jiggly. I hate her. Not Lola. I am when not she that old. was on Drag Race years ago, everyone kept calling you Jiggly too. No, you didn't. Yeah. For real? And he's like, are you Jiggly? And I was like, no. That's when I started. That's when I started. Oh. Not only that, to be a part of the show, but have my brand. Something that I've worked on, something that I've put my soul into for all the queens to enjoy and the world to see. Such an honor. My face has been on all day. And shout out to Perry Meek for this beautiful outfit made in less than a week. I'm gonna de-drag and see what Jiggly is up to. Maybe Tony. Maybe pump or just knock out and go to bed. And tomorrow we're gonna pack and then head out the next day maybe see my Lola so um yeah stay tuned for that since it's about family um but yeah check out the episode of RuPaul's Drag Race right now um on WOW presents the app and yeah Yeah. 